What's going on everybody? My name's Ryan and today's video we're gonna be trying out the brand new Grim Reaper tower I couldn't be more excited to show you guys this guy. Look how cool it looks. It's the Grim Reaper tower What? Okay, here we go. It's time to put him down. He has a pretty big range I guess he, he is kind of like a melee tower here. Let's put him like right here. There we go That's our Grim Reaper tower. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my goodness. He has his own little, like, his own upgrade path. He looks so cool. The Grim Reaper. Wait, 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 wait. I, guys, I've lied to all of you here. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to restart. We're going to restart because I didn't put him in the right spot. I want him to be, like, right here. I think, oh, right here is the perfect spot for the for the Grim Reaper monkey. All right, let's see it, guys. Oh, my goodness. So, he has a special, uh, like, an ability and stuff. So, let's see. Oh, my gosh. He just slices him. Oh, my gosh. He's kind of slow, though. What? Oh my goodness, he's so slow! What the heck? He takes so long to attack. Look at that. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh my goodness. He is so bad at the beginning. Here, we're gonna put down a dart monkey just so we don't, like, instantly lose. There we go. But the first upgrade, Stronger Souls, Reaper gains 30% more speed. So right now, he he's not very good at stealing the balloon's lives. He needs, he needs, definitely, he's going to need some upgrades. He needs to get the Stronger Souls upgrade, which is 800. Reaper gains 30% more speed. Hey, guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but if you hit the like button, it'll turn blue. But, like, when he does sweep, he, like, takes out everything in the vicinity. Look at that. Boom. So he does a pretty good job. But we definitely are going to need a little bit more money because right now he's too slow. The Grim Reaper, he's not very good. Okay, Stronger Souls. Infernal Flames. Rika can target camo balloons and the and with the flames from the other world. What? Yo, that's awesome. Look at this. Whoosh. So he's still really slow though. But man, those are some expensive upgrades that we're going to need here. All right, we're going to have to upgrade this. We need to upgrade our monkey, guys. Okay. We need to, we have to start upgrading some stuff because this guy, I believe in him, but right now this tower is a little bit weak, guys. But look at that. He like, I want to see when we get to like stronger balloons because does he just one shot? Maybe his ability is he just like one shots any type of balloon. I have no idea, right? Okay. Infernal flames. We need an extra thousand dollars. I can't wait to see how awesome this guy is going to be because right now. I feel like he's not that good, but I could I feel like he's gonna have a super strong build up You know, let's get triple shot that way. This guy's gonna be able to kind of deal with anything that gets thrown at us Okay, we need one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars. That's insane for a t2 upgrade That's gonna give him the ability to target camo balloons So and with and I'm assuming since it's fire He'll be able to hit lead balloons as well So this ability is gonna make it so he can basically take out any type of balloon Which I think is gonna be really exciting. It looks like he only has one path that he's gonna be able to go down Oh, let's get the infernal flames. Oh my gosh. He got a red look at that any wait fast death Instantly spike down the strongest balloon nearby. Is that an ability? Yo, look at his scythe though. It turned red. That's so sick. And he, I think he got a new ability. Look at that. That icon is so cool. Alrighty. Uh, now I kind of want to see him go up against balloons right now. But I think he still attacks relatively slowly for the most part, right? So we're going to definitely need a couple of things in order to increase his attack speed. But having the ability to instantly spike down the strongest balloon nearby... I wonder if that's like an ability or just a passive. I'm not entirely sure what to expect. All right, here, let's go ahead and let's think about getting ourselves a bank. Getting a bank is going to be very important and also very nice for us. Because, like, money is kind of a problem right now. I want to get all these really nice upgrades, but oh, oh no. Oh, look at that. He turned, like, green with blue eyes. Yo. Okay, here we go. I need to get greater protection because it seems like he... I haven't seen him not be able to pop a balloon. Like, when he swings his scythe, the balloon pops. Now, granted, it's only been up to, like, all right, let's see, pink balloons. He one-shots pink balloons as well. There isn't a single balloon that he has not been able to, wait, what the heck, wait, what the heck? There isn't a single balloon that he has not been able to pop yet. So, maybe he can just one-shot, maybe he attacks really slowly, but he just pops the strong, here, let's put him on strong then. There we go. Oh, but some balloons are going to start getting by. And I don't like the fact that balloons are starting to get by and we're losing lives. We do not have a way to, like, keep up with this madness right now. Let's get a brewmaster. Is a brewmaster a good idea? Or do we want, like, a... Yeah, we're starting to lose lives now. And this is not good. 
We're gonna just put this guy down for now. We're just gonna put down another triple dart monkey. Having one more triple dart monkey is just gonna make our whole, like everything in about our lives is just gonna be much nicer and easier and just more reliable. Cause right now he only has 174 pops. This bank is gonna focus on just getting us more things. Then now we're gonna take our money that we have a thousand dollars and I wanna start thinking about getting this guy upgraded as quickly as possible because fast death, that costs $8,000. That's gonna be kind of expensive, right? Oh, can he pop lead balloons? He can, but we still need a little bit of help. There we go. We'll have him target strong. There we go. We could probably put more Grim Reapers down. Imagine if we had just all Grim Reapers along the line. That would be really expensive, but also pretty awesome, I bet. All right. We need $8,000. Uh-oh. We can't hit Camo Bloons. Okay. 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 Everyone calm down. Everybody just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. There we go. There we go. Now, now we're good. We got a ninja monkey. Monk, the money. Ooh, we might be able to get the fast death upgrade. No, let's take this and let's get another banana farm. Who knows how expensive the Grim Reaper is going to be, right? The tier three is $8,000. So as far as we might, we, as far as we know, it's going to be even more expensive. I really, really want to know what the ultimate upgrade for the Grim Reaper is. I want to know. I have to know. I'm too curious, guys. Every time I see one of like the new upgrades, I'm like, okay, what does it do? I have no idea. We have to find out. All right, fast death. Let's go. So it's an ability. Wait, bring back the dead. Summons balloons from the unpopped army. Oh my goodness. Yo, what? He's going to be able to. Oh, look at that. So he, so he has the ability to just take out any balloon he wants. So we can just take out Moabs if he wants to. That is awesome. I wonder if he can just like one shot Moabs. I know this ability will one shot Moabs. Because it's like the same as the, um, the pirate lord. Mwahaha. <laughs> but the question is, what is his last tier going to be? Because he attacks so very, very slowly. So does he one-shot it? Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Is this going to be enough? All right, we need to upgrade this guy to balloon jutsu. What's the next upgrade? for? So for the bring back the dead, that's $14,000. That's $7,000. Once we start getting more money here, I'm going to deposit. How much money do we have in these? We have $4,000. i am going to start depositing money until we have about $4,000 in there as well. So this doesn't pop the strongest balloon. It actually allows them to just pop like any type of Moab. But as soon as he swings his scythe, it just does massive damage. So he might just do like insane, like one hit damage. How much is, is we? Okay, guys, we have a lot of money now. We have a lot of money that we can invest now. I'm too curious, guys. I'm, in, I'm taking the money. Bring back the dead. Rage of the Fallen. Boost all nearby towers with your crazy screams. Guys, that cost $720,000. What the heck? Guys, $720,000. We don't have $720,000. We need to start making money right now we need a banana research facility we're putting down a we're putting down a banana farmer okay we have our banana farmer which is nice okay that's three thousand dollars basically we just i need to get this up to twenty thousand we need seven hundred twenty thousand dollars right now i need i need to know this guy's starting to actually do really good work do you think this guy can solo now i wonder here we can sell that we now have our first banana research facility I really, guys, I really want to know how far this guy can go by himself now. Let's see. Because, yeah, like, he pops he pops them on his own, right? As soon as he, like... Yeah, because he, like, swings once, and then he's just good to go. Okay. Here we go. Let's get another banana farm. There we go. Upgrade those. I guess we can just keep working on putting down as many banana farms as possible. There we go. Yeah, I love how we they just go along this route, too. Like, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at, oh my gosh, he has red eyes now. He has 5,000 pops. That's awesome. Yeah, this guy's definitely starting to step up and be like, kind of, kind of a big problem for the balloons. Kind of a huge problem for the balloons, actually. We just need $720,000. That's not too much to ask for, right? Now with another banana farm up here, we might be able to start putting down even more banana farms. How's this? Yeah, look, look at this. The Reaper already has 10,000 pops. He's doing great. 17,000. And if I need to, I can just use that ability. And he just pulls him in. And he's like, goodbye. Nice knowing you. You know, welcome. Welcome to uh, eternity. I hope you enjoy your stay. $720,000? Boost all the nearby towers? 
Problem is, we're selling all of our towers, so we're not actually gonna know, like, how good they are. But look at that. I mean, he's, like, th once you get the bring back the dead, and you get this ability where he can just, like, bring back all of the dead, like, you're good to go. All right, we can collect all of that, and now we can get two more banana research facilities. And now we can start making once, like, soon, pretty soon, we're gonna start making a lot more money here. We can take that. Look at him go. All right. Does he? Guys, he one-shots Moabs. With with the swing of his sight, just whoosh. He, he just takes him out with just like a battering ram. And that's crazy. Oh, look at all those lead balloons. Look at that. Yeah, as soon as he swings, he takes out everything in like a, probably like a this big of a radius towards him. And they're just all gone. Oh, goodbye. That was round 60. That went by pretty fast for us. Pretty easily, honestly. Yeah, he, like, at the very beginning, I was a little bit concerned that he wasn't that good. But now, like, here, let's, here, let's sell everything. Let's just see. Can he, can he hold his own? Oh my gosh, I think, he, okay. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention to my money. I wasn't buying anything with it. I was being silly. I wasn't upgrading all my banana farms, guys. Oh, another $20,000. Okay, do we have enough? I might want to go ahead and get Banana Central, but Banana Central is really expensive. Oh, is that going to pop them? Oh, yeah. As soon as you get it to spawn like the Moabs, you're good. Like, look at that. It just starts, it just spawns more and more. And the fact that it spawns more and more, because it solves all the problems that the Prince of Darkness has. And the problem with the Prince of Darkness is he doesn't have any way to take out any like super strong balloon, right? So that like, normally like this, you'd be in trouble. But now that I can just absorb him and that he spawns more, that's really, really good. All right, guys. So do we... Do we start making more money or here? Let's here. Let's put down another. How's what's the money looking like in here? Fourteen thousand. Ugh, not enough still. It's still somehow not enough. Oh, are we popping in these balloons. Oh yeah, we're good now. We're good because now that like you pop balloons, it actually. I think you. I think it's almost impossible to get back past this. Oh, the ceramics are. Oh, yeah, once you get, like, a Moab, though, you're good. And then I can absorb those and increase our total pop count. There we go. And now our pop count is, like, through the roof. So now we just need to start being patient and trying to make $720,000. I think we have enough m m enough of these for it. Maybe we make, like, a couple of banks. All of these are now banks. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Okay. Those are all banks. We have $50,000 now. So now all we have to do is be patient as we wait for this guy to, to, to get more pops. He's at 100,000 pops. Honestly, I love the fact that he attacks so slowly now. At first, I was really like, wait a minute. This doesn't seem right. And then I was like, oh, holy cow, that's amazing. Guys, I, to I totally forgot. We can get more Grim Reapers. Why don't I have more Grim Reapers? What the heck? I totally forgot. We can just have more Grim Reapers. Look at that. Now we have more Grim Reapers. And we can just use these abilities as we please, as we see fit. There we go. And we can just absorb in Moabs and stuff. Holy cow. What a genius idea. I can't wait to see what his last ability is, though. $720,000? That seems really expensive. But why is it $720,000? Like, is it the greatest boost of all time? Does it give, like, all towers hypersonic speed? The world may never know. All right, we're at $3,000 right now in the banks. We're at $140,000. So we're starting to make some real money now, guys. I don't... Th we're definitely not going to have it before round 80. That's definitely not going to happen. But if we have to keep going, we're going to have to keep going, guys. We're going to get to the bottom of this $720,000 upgrade. And I can't wait to see it, guys. So far, he hasn't... Oh, do I put down a Banana Central? Is it worth it for a 25% increase? It is. It is worth it because I can sell all of these. I totally forgot because each one's worth $20,000, right? So once we get to, like, around 50, 500000 we can start selling things, I think. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of ceramic balloons. They did not get through, though. We're fine. I hate that the bank hasn't moved yet. We haven't gotten any money. Oh my gosh, look at that huge rush of ceramic balloons. Never mind, it got eaten alive. And 950. Okay, now we're at $250,000. Like I said, once we get to 500000 we should be able to sell everything. 
Right? I think I think that would work pretty well. If we got to round... Yeah. Because it's 200,000 and we only need 700,000. Maybe even uh, like 400,000 because that's worth 100,000. $400,000 and we sell everything. Because that... Yeah. that's a, Oh, it's round 80. Goodbye, round 80. We technically won, guys, but we still have no idea. So we have to go into free play. I love the way he looks. He looks so cool. I want this... Look at that. He one-shots BF. Look at that. Look at him one-shot BFBs. That should be illegal. I guess it's true. Like, his scythe literally is that powerful. Look at that. It just one-shots BFBs. Boom. 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 This guy almost never goes out of style. His one-shot destroys the balloons instantly. Even fortified BFBs. He just takes out the... Look at that. Boom. And just takes out the fortified BFBs. Okay, we're at $400,000, so that's going to be $500,000. Is that going to be enough? We're about to find out if this is going to be enough money, guys. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Sell. I don't think it's going to be enough. $20,000. we are about to find out? Oh, yeah. This should be enough money. Oh, yeah. That's plenty. Guys, we have it. Seven hundred twenty. Rage of the Fallen, guys. Are you ready? Let's buy it. Boom. We got Rage of the Fallen. We can now use this ability. What does it do, though? Okay, so apparently increases... All right, let's just use it now by itself. Did you see... Look at his... Look, okay, all right, let's get rid of this guy. He's too powerful. All right, wait, 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 wait. So now it... it here, here, here. Let's see. Guys, let's use it on, like, a sniper monkey. I think, I think a sniper monkey is a very good... Alright, ready guys? Now we're gonna use it. Interesting! So maybe it's only his- oh, Wait, did he get the boost? He didn't get the boost. Is it all nearby things, or is it only him that gets the boost? Let's see. Does it show it? it oh, no, it doesn't show it on the upgrades. We're gonna have to, like, have a balloon come next to him, and then then we'll see. Here, let's, let's see. Let's have a bunch of balloons show up next to him, and then we'll use the ability and see what happens. Alright, ready guys? All right, here's a bunch of ZOMGs. Oh my gosh, it's four ZOMGs. Ready? And boost. Oh my gosh, look at the pops. He just like one shot ZOMGs. And then, of course, he doesn't really have a good time with ceramics, but that's still amazing. Okay, let's see. Let's put down like a normal dart monkey. Maybe we need to put down like a normal dart monkey. Here we go. Normal, normal dart monkey. And then let's do like an ultra juggernaut. Oh my gosh, even the Ultra Juggernaut gets the ability to just attack super fast and get tons of pops. Guys, what do you think? Is the is the upgrade worth it? Do you think it's super good? Or do you think it's kind of mad? Let me know in the comment section down below. He just chops through balloons. That's so good. I, this is the type of tower that I bet isn't really good right now. Guys, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have the perfect test to see whether or not this is a, the, if this tower is overpowered or not. Monkey Meadow, watch this. So we'll go on hard difficulty. We're going to go on sandbox mode. Okay, round 999. And then we're going to put on fortified properties. And then we're going to put on just one of these guys. Just one basic level one guy. Can he pop a fortified bat? Look at the amount of pops he has with one attack, guys. With one attack. This is the strongest tower in the game. He attacks very slowly, but is guaranteed to pop the balloon no matter what. Look at that. One, is that one million, one billion, 100 million? That's a lot of pops, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. You guys are amazing. I love you all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye!